Kate Hunt and her bike Mike brave Ottawa's roads all year round. But in the spring, she says potholes make the road treacherous. The number of times that you have to swerve quickly to avoid a pothole, um, and that puts you right directly in the path of a car who wouldn't be expecting you to make that move. They might not have seen the pothole because it's off to the side of the road. Over at a center town sports shop, this technician was working on repairing damaged bikes. Uh, we get people coming in with flat tires all the time, uh, flat spots and rims, so your rim actually has a hop in it, so you can feel it more on a road bike as opposed to a mountain bike. But yeah, you get tons of people coming in. Um. The city says the number of calls about potholes to be fixed this year is normal. But so far, there have been almost a thousand, and the season's not over yet. That was clear for Mossad Osmani. His axle broke when he hit an unexpected pothole hidden by a puddle. I think the hole has a problem. And it was the 12th car the tow truck driver had picked up that day. This engineering expert says he's found the cure to the city's pothole plague. The problem is not in the material, it's not in the design, it's not in our tires. The problem is how we build it. Abdel Halim has invented a paving machine that spreads out the pressure when it rolls out the pavement. He says that means there are no cracks in the road. Potholes are formed when water freezes in the cracks and expands. Without the machine, Halim says potholes will just keep coming back. Kate Hunt has found the potholes so bad this year that she even started rating them on her blog. And she has some tips for cyclists. I focus a lot. Like you can't, you can't lose concentration because you're watching for upcoming potholes. Uh, but the best thing you can do is, is slow down and listen. And until there's a permanent fix, drivers, cyclists and potholes will have to share the road. Carolyn Thompson, CJTV News, Ottawa.